Good day everyone, my name is Michelle and welcome to my channel. I make time-lapse videos of how I did my paintings. Want to know how I did this pickup painting? Then let's keep watching. I did a quick sketch on this wood panel and sprayed some fixative on it before putting a layer of green that was mixed with liquid and sensodor. The video runs pretty fast as the total work time for this painting was about 32 hours across 5 days. It would be a super long video if I didn't speed it up significantly. But at the same time, I don't want to skip the steps that show my process. So it still ended up close to a 10 minute video. I really want to thank my cousin for requesting this pickup painting because it's a rather complicated work and quite a daunting task to be honest. I have never painted anything like this, though there are really a lot of things I've never painted. I was quite apprehensive before starting and gave it a lot of thoughts on how to start this painting, on how much details I want to portray, on how much of the tail feathers I can paint to fill in the space before I would throw away the brushes and give up. If not for my cousin, I probably would not have chosen this complicated subject. But thanks to him, now my confidence in painting is up like 10 levels. And so I figured I just have to do it and see how it goes. Sometimes there's only so much you can plan, you know? So here you can see I first painted the green brown tail feathers in two layers. Then only I started with the colorful parts. Usually I would put one layer of colors on the whole of the surface, but for this painting I did a different approach. I wanted to finish the tail feathers first and the head and body last. For this area, I thought I could paint in the different colors at one go, but it didn't seem to work. So I decided to paint in yellow first. When they are dry, the next day I'll paint in the orange and green. Here in actual speed, I was painting the yellow, then I dragged in a little of the still wet black color to indicate the texture. I painted the head of the pickle on day 3 and 4.
I forgot to press record when painting the peacock's crest. I was going to glaze another layer of blue on top of the blue to make it more vibrant. So I chose a lighter tone for of blue for the highlight. Here I was glazing a more saturated orange and blue on the tail feathers as well as adding some tiny details in them. Painting to me is not just painting, it's also problem solving and planning. How do you blend the colors? Where do you start first? How do you portray the texture? How do you define form? How does the light source affect the object? What are you going to achieve in today's session, etc. Every painting is a learning. I really encourage everyone to try painting someday. You can listen to an audiobook while painting and enjoy some me time in a busy world that we're in now. I listen to laws of attraction, manifestation or positive videos when I was painting and I'm really loving it. I listen to the same videos over and over again so that it'll be deeply imprinted on my mind. I'm also hoping the positivity will be imprinted within the painting as well, rhetorically speaking, and brings positivity to the homes which my paintings will go to. Lastly, I glazed in a slightly more saturated green to unify the look with the rest of the painting and it's a wrap. I hope my video brings you some relaxing moments. Please do like, share and subscribe to my channel. Hope to see you in the next video. Bye!